So Nautica is a game. While being underwater! There's some crafting elements too. Dang it. But what if we got rid of that game? It's pretty simple to remove the game. What I'm going to do is going to make one of them their trash cans, or as us British people like to say, bins. To do so, I'm going to take the hatch and remove the metal from it so I can actually build it, and then I'm going to deposit the Habitat Builder battery inside. This means I can't use the Habitat Builder anymore. There's no more batteries in this room. All I have is this locker full of expired fish. And this is what they call a soft lock, as opposed to a hard lock, where the game simply crashes a soft lock, you're left alone in a tiny room with nothing to do. There is some game to play, unlimited game. However, there will be no more game. Even if I were to eat my delicious rotten fish and die, I would simply respawn back in this house to continue the endless torment of no game. But I've tricked you like the scoundrel I am. That was actually an old patch. On the most recent patch, the devs have done something a little special to make sure this doesn't happen again. First of all, the Habitat Builder now works without a battery, as long as you're in a powered base. And, which I will demonstrate shortly with my very rotten, delicious fish, you no longer respawn in a base with a partially constructed hatch. Unfortunately, we no longer have such an easy softlock at our disposal. I will have to work a little bit harder. Thankfully, we got another very easy solution. We're just going to block the door. We're going to build some lockers right in front of it and then dispose of the habitat builder. <coughs> and of course, after eating our delicious rotten fish, we start yeah. dying and we respawn back in our tiny little coffin, never to play the game again. What if you wanted something with a little more pizzazz? Well, here we have something where outside of our little coffin there is only death. So every time we go outside we'll die and then we'll respawn from this massive fall. <coughs> and this would be a soft lock. Now you're thinking, of course they added unstuck in the most recent patch, that will solve it. No, you just go back to your base. However, just like in the old patch, you can just save and cancel out fall damage. So as exciting as this one is, it, it doesn't work. <coughs> I do have a final thing to show you though today. We have been trapping ourselves in a tiny little room. However, we can give ourselves a, a little bit more freedom by trapping ourselves within compartments. And every time we leave, we will end up here. There's one flaw with this though. If I move slightly to the right, I can escape. Thankfully, there is a solution to stop your inmates from escaping. A simple power transmitter fence works wonders. And while I don't have any rotten fish here, I can assure you when you die, you'll simply return to the top. But maybe we can take this one step further. Welcome to 4546B's Maximum Security Prison. In this picturesque little place in the void, our inmates will spend eternity far away from that horrifying place known as the actual game. Each inmate is provided with a luxury single bed and toilet equivalent within their own private room. We are equipped with an expansive cafeteria with food sourced from all over the globe, with a total of three different types of crisps and one type of coffee, as well as a few herbs dotted around. At the central point of this mega structure is the yard, where inmates will get to spend their free time 
A running track elevated off the ground is provided for those who wish to run. Or perhaps you prefer the art room, where many of our prisoners do wonderful art, which we showcase on the walls. An aquarium is provided for those who wish to marvel at the ocean's flora and fauna. And prisoners are allowed to partake in some gardening, as long as it is with pre-approved seeds. Our revolutionary full-body showers ensure that our inmates are as clean as possible, as fast as possible. And for space-saving measures, we've combined the showers with the infirmary. And all of this is powered by nuclear fission, provided from a government-approved and trustworthy source. As for security, we have our highly sophisticated watchtowers equipped with military-grade spotlights. Not only that, but as we are located within the void, we do have a certain guard dog that comes included. Three of them, to be precise. And of course, not even death can save our inmates, for if they were to die, they will be immediately retrieved and placed back inside the facility. Thank you.